evening and welcome to the Davis Higgs McNeely household where tonight we are listening to the presentation practice of Miss Parker Ellie Higgs as she prepares for her District 4-H competition to be held tomorrow in Jacksboro, Texas. Take it away, Parker. Okay, I'll do my honors. Hi, I'm Parker Higgs and today I have prepared a vegetable dip for you and served it with fresh vegetables. This last summer, I moved to Quanah, Texas, which is the hometown of my Gigi, great-grandmother, and great-great-grandmother. While unpacking boxes, I found them full of recipes and cookbooks belonging to both my great-grandmother and great-great-grandmother. It took me a very long time to unpack that box. I want to make them all. My Gigi let me pick some recipes out to make together. The pecan cheese ball was our least favorite, but we all liked our great great grandmother's vegetable dip. You can tell how old the recipe is because it was made by a typewriter. And my Gigi actually still has that typewriter that belongs to my great great grandmother. This recipe is very easy to make and only needs six ingredients which you probably already have in your refrigerator and pantry. This dip is not only easy to make, it's also very healthy when you serve it with the vegetables. The food pyramid for healthy eating shows to eat more fruits and vegetables than candy and chips. A serving size for this recipe is one tablespoon of dip and a half cup of vegetables. But you can eat more. <clears throat> this recipe is also inexpensive and the ingredients together cost $8.44. 16 to make 16 servings. That calculates 56 cents a serving. The dip can be high in saturated fats but I reduced the saturated fat by 50% using olive oil based mayonnaise. I reduced it even more by using non-fat Greek yogurt for the sour cream. The vegetables are, I chose are a colorful selection and have plenty of nutrients including calcium, potassium, iron, and fiber. As my great-grandmother says, a colorful plate is a healthy plate. To make this dip, first I wash my hands with soap and warm water. Next, I got out all the measuring cups, spoons, and other dishes I would need. Then, I got all the ingredients out of the refrigerator and pantry. I'm ready to begin. I measured all the ingredients and placed them into the bowl where I stirred them until they were well mixed. And finally, I scooped out the dip and put it into a smaller container, then sealed the lid tight for, and then put it in the refrigerator to chill. Since the ingredients include dairy products, it's very, very important to keep it refrigerated when not being served. After I cleaned up the dishes from making the dip, I washed my hands again to prepare the vegetables. I selected my colorful vegetables from the refrigerator and washed them all. I used a paper towel to dry them or block them to dry them. Then I got out a chopping board. Finally, I asked my Gigi to help me cut the vegetables. Knives can be very dangerous. It's always best to ask an adult for help. I used the half cup measuring cup to measure the vegetables and the tablespoon to measure the dip. I tried to arrange them to look like a flower to make it more appealing. The dip in presentation has helped my brother cousin and I to eat our vegetables. 
maybe it can help your family to eat more vegetables too. Thank you. Right at five minutes exactly.